Introduction to My Prospect Manager What is My Prospect Manager? My Prospect Manager is an innovative donor prospect management system that allows you to add prospects you have found in Foundation Search to fundraising projects you create and define so that you can effectively manage and coordinate your fundraising progress with them. With My Prospect Manager, you can easily create and define new fundraising projects and identify great funding prospects for your projects. In this tutorial, we will review how to effectively leverage all the features of My Prospect Manager so that you can maximize your fundraising success. Tutorial Objectives In this tutorial, we will show you how to create and define a new project in My Prospect Manager. How to add prospects to your new project using My Best Prospects. How to modify your project information. How to update and manage the prospects in your project. How to copy or move prospects from one project to another project. How to add newly found prospects to an existing project. After you have logged into Foundation Search, you'll be taken to the user dashboard page. You can find a shortcut to My Prospect Manager here, under the Manage Funders section. Just click on the link. Alternatively, you can access My Prospect Manager by going to the Manage Funders tab and clicking on the My Prospect Manager link. On the main page of My Prospect Manager, you'll see a list of all your existing projects, along with the number of prospects in each the total funding amount needed for the project, and the date by which you need the funding for the project. You'll also notice some quick edit icons associated with each project, which allow you to view the project definition page, do a quick edit on the project name and description, and delete the project if you choose. There are some more icons at the top of the page, which allow you to create a new project, remove selected projects, export your list of projects to Excel, and print your list of projects to your local printer. Each project has a number of prospects, and each prospect has its own prospect information page, where you can log all of your activities, communications, and interactions with the prospect. We'll review each of these items in more detail. To create a new project in My Prospect Manager, simply click this icon. You'll be prompted to add a name for your project, as well as a description. There's other information you can add here too. When you click Save, you'll be taken to the new project page. You can see that you don't have a lot of stuff here at the moment because you haven't yet set up the project definition to find and add new prospects. So let's do that. Clicking this icon will launch My Best Prospects and take you to the project definition page. We review My Best Prospects in more detail in a different video, but for now, we'll quickly review the key features on this page. You have the project name, description, and the date you need the grant by, which, if you recall, you added when you first set up the project. Now, you can add more selection criteria to further refine your project. You can add details about the project location, including province. You can also select specific granting categories and giving interests. This is to narrow down your search further and ensure that the prospects you generate have given to those areas in the past. You can select the grant amount needed from each prospect here. And you can even use My Tags here to include or exclude foundations you have previously tagged. Once you have entered all your project criteria, click the Save icon to save your project definition. If the save was successful, you should get a message at the top of the screen confirming the save. 
Now that your project has been set up, you can start searching for good prospects. You can do that right here from your project definition page. Just click the Go icon. And My Best Prospects will do its work and generate a ranked list of the best prospects that match your project criteria. You can then review these prospects and decide which ones to add to your project. Once you've determined which prospects you want to add, click to select your prospects, then click the Add to My Prospect Manager icon here. A small window will appear confirming that you want to add the following prospects to your project. If everything looks OK, click Save to complete the addition. and your prospects have been added. Now, when you go to My Prospect Manager to view your new project, you will see there are a number of prospects associated with your new project. Once you've added your prospects to your project, you will want to update and manage your notes for each prospect. From the My Prospect Manager page, click on the name of the project you want to view. Here, you can see a list of all the prospects that are associated with that project. Click on the first prospect name to view its prospect information page. This is the heart of My Prospect Manager and is the basis for efficient time management for your project. On this page, you can see the prospect's contact information, the date of your last contact with them, the date you've scheduled for a callback, a detailed history of your interactions with the prospect under Activity History, as well as a space for notes at the bottom of the page. Here is where you can add your notes, coordinate activities, and manage your interactions with this prospect. Effectively managing your time spent with your prospects here will save you hours of valuable time and ensure that you don't miss any important callbacks or deadlines. We'll review how to update this area in the next section of the tutorial. Whenever you update something on this page, make sure you click the Save icon to save your changes. You can also easily view the summary profile for this prospect by clicking this icon here. You can print the details on this page by clicking the Printer icon and you can remove the prospect completely from your project by clicking the Delete icon. And you can move to the next prospect in your list by clicking this icon here. You can readily see which prospect you're currently editing. Updating the activity history on a regular basis is a critical component of tracking your interactions and activities with each prospect. Each time you call, email, send something, or otherwise interact with your prospect, you can record the details of your interactions here in the Activity History section of the Prospect Information page. For each interaction, you can enter the date you're expecting funding from the prospect, the funding amount you requested, the estimated funding probability based on your interactions with the prospect, the last step you took with the prospect, and the next step you're planning to take with the prospect. Note that the probable grant field will be calculated automatically based on your funding requested amount and the funding probability. For instance, if you ask for $10,000 and the funding probability is 10%, then the probable grant will be calculated as 1000 For the last step and next step fields, enter the description of your interactions with the prospect. If you prefer to use the built-in steps, simply click the arrow next to the Last Step field to view all the available steps. Each one has a predetermined next step as well that will automatically fill in based on the last step you choose. Here's a quick example. If I select Initial Solicitation as my last step, the next step and the funding probability automatically fill in. All of that might be a lot to remember, so if you've forgotten what each activity history field refers to, 
Simply hover your mouse cursor over the column heading to read a quick description. When you're finished updating the details, remember to click the Save icon at the top of the page. If you try to navigate away before saving your changes, you'll get an error message. And another chance to save your changes if you wish. Now that you know how to update the activity history for each prospect you're managing in My Prospect Manager, you may be wondering how to manage your daily activities with the hundreds of prospects you'll be managing in all your saved projects. You can do this easily using My Calls. From the Manage Funders page, click on the link for My Calls, and you'll be taken to a list of all your scheduled upcoming calls sorted by date. Each day you can check here to view all the callbacks you've scheduled for the day. Once you have called each prospect, you can quickly and easily click the prospect name to view the prospect information page, update your progress in the activity history, and schedule your next follow-up with the prospect. As you're working with your prospects, you may discover that a particular prospect is a good candidate for another project you're managing. It's quite easy to copy that prospect to your other project. Just open up the prospect information page for that prospect and click this icon here. You'll be prompted to select the project where you want to copy the prospect. Select the project and click Save. Now here, you can see that the prospect is associated with two different projects. When you next view that other project, you will see that the prospect has been copied to that project. The same idea applies to moving a prospect. On the Prospect Information page, click the Move Prospect to Another Project icon. Select the project where you want to move the prospect and click Move. This will remove the prospect from the project it was in previously and move it to the new project. We've seen how to create a new project, but what if you want to remove an old project or print a list of all your existing projects? You can do all of that easily from here, the main page of My Prospect Manager. To remove a project, just click the X icon associated with the project here. You will be prompted to confirm the deletion. Click OK to delete. To remove multiple projects at the same time, just select which ones you want to remove and click the Recycle icon. To export or print a list of your projects, simply select which projects you want exported or printed or use the Select All shortcut then click the Excel icon to export the summary to Excel or the printer icon to print the summary to your local printer. If you need to modify the project information for a project you've set up already, then all you need to do is click this icon here on the main Prospect Manager page. This will open a small window where you can update the project name, project description, the total funding amount needed for your project, and the date by which you need the funding. Click Save to save your changes to the project info. One of the powerful features of Foundation Search is the ability to add new prospects to your projects at almost any time, regardless of which module you're using. Of course, the first and best place to find best prospects for your project is My Best Prospects. But if you happen to be using any other module, you can still add prospects to a project in My Prospect Manager. If you're using Foundation Visualizer, for instance, and you've come up with a good list of candidate foundations, then you can quickly and easily add some or all of those foundations to one of your projects. Just click the Add to My Prospect Manager button 
at the top of the page here. And you can select which foundations to add, which project to add them to. With a couple of clicks, you've just added new prospects to your project. You can do the same thing in Grant Visualizer. Click, select, save. That's it. Furthermore, any time you're able to open and view a Foundation Summary profile you're interested in, you're also able to add that foundation as a prospect to one of your projects in My Prospect Manager. At the top of the Summary profile, there's an icon to Add to My Prospect Manager. Clicking this icon will bring up a small window. You can select the project where you want to add this foundation. Done quickly and easily, you don't even need to open up My Prospect Manager to do this. Finding good prospects is easy with Foundation Search, and managing those prospects is even easier with My Prospect Manager. Tutorial Recap In this tutorial, we have covered how to create and define a new project in My Prospect Manager. How to add prospects to your new project using My Best Prospects. How to modify your project information. How to update and manage the prospects in your project. How to track activities with each prospect in your project. How to use My Prospect Manager as an effective time management tool how to copy or move prospects from one project to another project, how to add newly found prospects to an existing project.